Hello, this is Dr. Mark Weirman, and this video will be about the triple filter found in the renal corpuscle, along with the pressures. First, let's look at this nephron and break it down. The first section is the renal corpuscle, where the filtration will occur. The second section is the renal tubule, and this is where the bulk of the absorption occurs, but also some secretion occurs here. And lastly, we have the collecting duct, which collects all the tubular fluid to be passed through as urine. Blood enters the kidney through the renal artery and that artery will eventually become smaller and smaller until it becomes the afferent arterial. The afferent arterial will turn into the glomerulus, which involves 50 intertwined fenestrated capillaries, and then the blood that is not filtered will exit the renal corpuscle through the efferent arterial. The blood is filtered through three layers at the glomerulus. The first filter is the fenestrated capillaries found in the glomerulus. These capillaries have pores in the endothelial cells, which helps with the filtration. The second part of this filter is going to be the basement membrane or the dense layer between the capillaries and the Bowman's capsule. It should be noted that the dense layer does have somewhat of a negative charge to it, so it will repel negatively charged molecules. The last layer of the triple filter comes from podocytes. Podocytes are cells that have feet-like projections called pedicles, and in between these pedicles we have filtration slits. You can think of these filtration slits as the gaps in between your own toes on your foot. Once again, the three layers of the filter are the fenestrated capillaries, or the pores, the second layer is the dense layer, and the third layer is the filtration slits. As blood moves into these fenestrated capillaries, there will be some type of pressure pushing them through this triple filter. What you end up with is filtrate, and filtrate is very similar to plasma, except for it doesn't have the large plasma proteins. In normal conditions, these large plasma proteins cannot make it through the filter. As a result, filtrate will have a low osmolarity. At this point, let's talk about the pressures found in this area. The main pressure that was found here comes from the heart. The heart will pump 25% of the cardiac output into the kidneys, and this will cause a glomerular hydrostatic pressure. That glomerular hydrostatic pressure is typically around 50 millimeters of mercury. Another hydrostatic pressure found here is the capsular hydrostatic pressure, which is a little bit of a backflow from the fluid that's already in the capsule. This pressure is typically around 15 millimeters of mercury. The last pressure being discussed is blood colloid osmotic pressure. This osmotic pressure is caused by the plasma proteins that are left in the blood. This osmotic pressure measures around 25 millimeters of mercury. The net result of all of these pressures is 10 millimeters of mercury of filtration pressure moving through the triple filter. And once again, this is called net filtration pressure. One last term to discuss is the GFR, or the glomerular filtration rate. GFR is the volume of fluid filtered through the kidneys per minute. This is an important number that reflects how well the kidneys are functioning. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helps you.